What's going on guys, Alex Mr. Snitcher here, and welcome to another episode of the Vertical Gameplay Series. This is a series where I take the game mode bomb and go into each individual map that is in the game at the current time and see if I can teach you a thing or two on how to play the site from either below or above more effectively. And this time it's on bank. So let's start off with our second floor bomb site first. So while I'm making my way over there. This is a very interesting map, I'll just say. So, let's start here. So, if we come into Executive, this leads right into another bomb site. So these tips will transfer over very well. So there's one corner. And as you can see, this kind of walkway area is not all destructible, however. Come over a little bit, and here is your entrance, because this is actually into a different room. So you kind of have this thing of like, turn halfway through, because now you're into the open area, and as you can see, as I'll go down there in a second, but it's got kind of an L shape to it, so basically from there all the way over. Go into this corner if you wanted to. Go into this corner. This entire thing is destructible, even over here, which leads into that as well. So, that's executive and executive hallway. Let's go into the actual CEO office. Same story. Same exact story. Basically, you can play this anywhere from below. I would recommend if you want to, you could play this. On defense, you could play it from below. Just because it's not really a high traffic area, especially if you're attacking CEO. Just because your main objective... Come on. I can use a shotgun. Uh, your main objective when you are attacking in to there you're either going to repel off of the nice little skylight here or you're going to jump in through a window you're going to take control of skylight stairwell and maybe below in the skylight and then you're basically going to force your way in through skylight or into the janitor's closet just depending on the team you know we apply it next to a window or at least somewhere where you can have somebody sit out here and kind of look at it so let's go down real quick and I'll show you what it looks like from below. Okay, so now that we're below, in archives and tellers, like I said earlier, this will transfer very well to the archives and the teller bomb site. This isn't the entire section. As you can see, you kind of have the strip here that you really can't go through, but there's the one corner of the building. Here's the other corner. And the other corner, right next to the window. And the other corner, right by the desk area. So if you really wanted to, you could kind of watch the windows from below. Depending, I mean, this is not the best way to watch, just because it's the light. And I'm on the wrong side, but here, I mean, you see, just eh, just, eh. we're going to watch a window. You could probably set it up a little better, but eh. And if we come into tellers, as I said earlier, you get a corner of the room here, corner of the room here. You can want, definitely watch these windows from below. However, there's no real use opening this little area up just because this is uh, this is the uh, executive hallway. You can watch those windows. Here's another corner of the room. I mean, you can also watch executive hallway. Although I don't see why you'd want to. Just because I think it's a, just a much better. Nobody sits in there if you're, especially on defense. I mean, I guess you could play it defensively, just wait for somebody to jump in, see for them. Eh, I don't really like doing that, but I guess we'll move over here. As I was talking about earlier, we kind of have this L shape, like I showed. There's the corner of the wall. If you wanted to, you could watch the area next to it, but. Uh, like I said before, you're normally going to jump in from the northeast side and just plant it in there. So, let's move on to the next bomb site. 
Okay, so the next site bomb site we're going to be talking about is the basement bomb site. Now, the reason I do not start down there is you don't have any verticality down there. You can't shoot from below because that's the bottom floor. And now that I'm in Teller's archives, I can kind of show you why you can't breach from the top. Because it's not breachable. The only two spots that are somewhat breachable be the drop hatch that I opened, which is into the vault area, eh. and then I guess really one other spot, but that's kind of your only op two options for the bomb site. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Any other option would be the drop hatch. However, cool thing with the drop hatch is, is most people do sit up here and you know you're going to... Watch the corners, see if there's anybody in here, and maybe drop in. If you want, you can actually play this from two floors up. So let me get up there real quick, and I'll show you how. Okay, so now that we're up here, I'm going to do two things real quick. Number one, I'm not going to shoot the drop hatch, just because this is an okay line of sight. But if you come right about here, say you got a sledge. Oops, wrong side. This side. You can open up this entire floor. And you're a little bit safe for a drop tag. Maybe you send, send somebody up here to watch the doorway. If you got a rolling cab or whatever. You can play this a little differently if you want, but not really. I mean, that's just some tidbit there. But yeah, you're going to have most of the time, you have people sitting here just kind of looking. This, once again, not breachable. Into here. Not breachable. All this tile. Not breachable. So this bomb site, as it is, kind of easy to defend just because it's the bottom floor. And you're either going to do a nice little loading docks push, garage push, or a sewers push. And just like it's a fort, nothing. You're normally going to have this open up. This opened up. Nothing. Nothing in here except for the drop hatch. So let's move on to our third bomb site. So our third bomb site is going to be one of our first bomb first floor bomb sites, which is open and kitchen. So let's get into this. So if we start open, this is a very secure location. Only reason being is because you have a small hatch area above. So if I open that real quick, this entire room up here is the only place you can do it. So let me go up there real quick and I'll show you why. So now that I've made it up here, here's the other drop hatch you can use into A. If I don't fucking miss. Normally both of these are reinforced, so either you need Havana or Thermite, or both, depending on the team. This entire thing is not reachable because this is tile. This is technically into the, uh, I guess the office, if you want to call it that. I don't know the exact name, but I just call it office normally. But in here, this is all that's breachable for A. So if I shoot this out real quick, or if I can grenade it, let's go with that. There's one corner. Second corner. Uh, fail. Second fail, come on. There we go, third corner. And the fourth corner. So when I get down there after my next tip, I'll show you basically what that looks like. However, if you are trying to attack the bomb site, there's a cool little trick you can do. So, let me get through this real quick, and I'll meet you when I have it all destroyed. Okay, so now this is all destroyed, and I did destroy it a little over-exaggerated, so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you come into the janitor's closet, and you can kind of destroy this, you can peek somebody that's sitting that corner. If it's the night version of that, this will be a lot easier. That corner right here, even if you get somebody playing... I don't know if somebody's playing in the office here. You can destroy that and kill them in there.
but I'll show you what that looks like once I get down there real quick. Let me destroy the hatch. So, this is what you're looking at. There is your angle to kill them at. Yeah, they can definitely see you. So that's a nice attacking advantage. We'll throw a defender up there just because that is a very high traffic route. But, hey, that's your own prerogative. So, here is your hatchable, destructible, fusible, buckable, sledge sledgeificationized place you can get shot from. One. Two. Three. Four. That's it. From those corners all the way over. Anything over here? Nothing. If you are going into the little area over here with printer, nothing. Because that just... That's tile. If you come into staff room or kitchen, as I call it, nothing. Nothing. This is far, f far. For sure, the better bomb site to sit on if you're afraid of getting shot from above. Below, same story. Nothing in B. And nothing in A. So, let's move on to our final bomb site, which is archives and tellers. So, I wanted to end this video off pretty easily. So, if we go to archives and teller's office, or as most people call it, just tellers, you can just look at the top bomb site, or the very beginning of the bomb, very beginning of the video, my bad, to where the destructible services is. This is exactly the same. There's not much that's changed, obviously. Not breakable. Not breakable. You know, you've seen all these that have come down here and showed you where you can shoot from. You can take sledge up there. I've had it happen to me, I believe, in a Road to Whatever rank pretty recently. That happened to me. I was playing, I believe, Echo. Maybe it wasn't me. I'm thinking of my Xbox one. But they're just all sitting there and somebody's just blowing the floor out. Same thing. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And remember, snitches get stitches.